Hi everybody, welcome back to Reviews and Random. Today we are reviewing this air fryer by Iconites. It was uh, the seller on, I, th I think that's how you say it, I don't know. The seller on Amazon, uh, the name was was uh, Zoya, I think. <laughs> They're making me struggle on the names today. But anyway, um, hopefully I'm gonna be replacing this new new Wave Bravo. So about a year ago we decided we wanted to, uh, to get an air fryer, but then I decided <laughs> after doing some research that maybe an all-in-one would be good because this new wave is supposed to do the air fry and the toaster and everything it replace a lot of stuff but it truly is a master all right sorry a jack of all trades but a master of none um, we found that first time we tried to toast bread in it we were super disappointed with the texture that came out it was like dehydrated um, it works great as a convection oven but not really an air fryer nothing came out super crisp also has a really large footprint we don't have a big kitchen so our our uh, shelf space storage space in the in the pantry is is limited so um you know we were hoping that we could combine a toaster but a toaster and a toaster oven and an air fryer and all of that but it didn't really work out on top of that this is the basket that comes with it this is the actual this is what you get as far as how much you can fry so it's got a big footprint but the the actual cooking space is fairly limited um, so I decided to finally try an, uh, an actual air fryer because um, some friends of mine swear by them. So I picked this guy up because it was a good price and it had some decent reviews already. So I figured let's go ahead and give it a shot. So without further ado, let's take a look at this Iconite's air fryer. All right, so in the box you have the air fryer, obviously. You have the basket here that goes on the bottom uh, to let the air circulate and then you have the nice seven quart bin, uh, which supposedly can fit a whole rotisserie chicken. I don't know that I'm ever gonna get that ambitious. Honestly, I just want some French fries. Um, so anyway, this goes in here. Oh, so it's got these little pads right here on the on the back side there. That slides in there. And uh, they actually do come with some extra pads if those get damaged or lost. I would guess lost more than damaged. So to use it, all you're gonna do is slide this in just like this. Um, you're going to push that forward. This is a lock, so forward locks it so you can't pull the basket out. And then sliding it back allows you to pull that out. So let's go ahead and plug it in. All right, let's adjust this. You can see I'm getting ready to try this thing out with uh, some of the best fish sticks out there, Costco fish sticks, and then some Rally's French fries. We're just going to try this. Also, I do want to, to reheat some pizza because my friends that, that love their air fryer say that reheating the pizza in the air fryer is the only way to do it. Right now, I go through a huge hassle where I actually microwave it, um, but then I, f I put it in a, in a skillet to like crisp up the bottom when I'm reheating pizza. Anyway, hold this power button down. That was a lot of information, right? It's got a bunch of different presets here that it automatically sets the temperature and the time to cycle through them. You just push this button here. We can focus, there it is. So it's chicken, shrimp, fish, french fries. Um, you can also manually, there's two more. One is pork chops, and I'm not sure what this one is. I'd have to look in the uh, bacon maybe. I don't know, I have to look in the instruction book. Um, you can also cycle through the temperature by hitting the up button or the down button. I did that backwards. Um, and then you can adjust the time by hitting the plus or the minus button here. So I'm gonna just cycle through here Let's get back to, so now we're back. It's blinking on to the frozen French fries. I have read um, with air fryers, it's best to let them preheat for a minute or two to, to uh, let it, just let it get warm to, to kind of facilitate even cooking. I'm not gonna do that because I wanna see how this thing works just as, as rude as you can be to it. All right, so I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna just toss, slide this back here. I'm gonna just toss a few in. I don't really want a lot. Right. <laughs> As I fill the whole thing up. Ah, guys, that was terrible. All right, let's take some of those out. I only want a few and then I dump in half the bag. That's what I do at restaurants when I say I only want a few fries. Um, and then I'm just gonna toss in a couple fish sticks for good measure just to see, just to see how it does. These are completely frozen. All right. Now we're going to throw this in here. I got to slide it back again, lock that in. You can see that we're here. I'm just going to use the absolute default settings. Normally I kind of crank stuff up and try to try to make it cook a little faster, but we're just going to use the default setting and hit the power button 
to let it circle to let it cycle. It says it's going to take about 20 minutes. For comparison sake, guys, my new wave um, one, if I cooked it from frozen, it was like a 40 minute, 40 to 50 minute cook. So I would microwave them first and then crisp them up in the new wave. Um, so, so already if this really does crisp it in 10 minutes, um, or sorry, in 20 minutes, I'm saving a bunch of time. So anyway, about halfway through, I'm going to shake the, the basket just to kind of like mix stuff around. Cause I read that that's a good thing to do too. And we will see you. Well, I guess we'll check in at 10, at 10 minutes. I'll give it a shake and, uh, and kind of test and see how crispy things are looking. I'll show you guys that. And then at 20 minutes, we'll uh, see how this thing finishes up. So I'll be right back with you. All right. Well, time flies and I wasn't paying attention. I got about seven minutes left. So what I'm going to do is just pull this out. You can hear it start to sizzle. Wow. That's actually, let me see if I can, those are done. Holy cow. Well, yeah, those are done. I don't even think I need to, I don't even need to shake them. That is awesome. And that was from frozen. Let's check out these fish sticks back here. All right. Well, I guess, uh, after 13 minutes, these things are done. Look at the, Look at this. Look how crispy that is. All right, I'm going to uh, put these on a plate and uh, let them cool enough so that I can can test and see how they actually look right now. I mean, they taste awesome, and that was super fast, nice and crispy. These are thinner fries, these rally fries, um, but like I said, the uh, the fish sticks themselves are are also already done. So let's get them on a plate and check them out. All right, so while those are cooling, I've got them over here for a second. I'm going to try this. I'm going to toss this piece of really old pizza. Honestly, this pizza is like a week old. I don't know what setting. So you can see when I when I pulled it out um, to shake it, as soon as I put it back in, it actually picks up right where I left off, which I think is awesome. So I, that might be a little high, I think. Let's go ahead and stop this here. I think what I need to do um, is... Maybe it's cooling. I don't know. Let me figure that out. But I think I need to set the, the temperature for a little lower, maybe like 350. Let's just pull this out and see if it, there it goes. Now we're going to restart. So now, now we can hold this for a few seconds. There we go. Um, I'm going to set the temperature by hitting this. Maybe let's do like 325. I don't want to burn it. Um, the time, 23 minutes. I don't need that long. Normally I wouldn't set the timer, but apparently I'm bad at paying attention because I already missed it. Let's just see what it does after three minutes since we're just reheating and we'll start that up. All right, so while that's cooking, let's go ahead and slide this over this way here for a second. Show you guys the French French fries and the fish stick. Wow, that is, I mean, that that's perfect. It's still a little hot for me to, to taste. The French fries themselves are really, really crispy in about, what was that, 13 minutes? So even when I would microwave these exact french fries in a new wave and then cook them it would still take 20 to 25 minutes to cook um, so we're 10 minutes less it was a lot easier i didn't even have to shake the basket every single one of these is crispy uh, nice and evenly coated Co coated nice and evenly cooked um, but so let's go ahead and wait for this pizza to be done and see how we did all right so we can see we have about a minute left um, I'm gonna just let that finish, but I wanted to point something out. This whole basket, you can throw into the dishwasher. So much easier to clean than this this Bravo. In fact, well, here, let me, sorry. Let me do something here for you. This is why you should never get a toaster oven and a um, air fryer separate. Just get a toaster and get an air fryer. Everything in this basket, when you cook it, all of the grease that, that comes off of it gets stuck all over your heating elements and it's really really annoying to clean off i was cleaning i started cleaning this to sell it and it's it's literally like cleaning an oven sounds like we're done over there um but let me show you something here too this is what i'm dealing with from the bottom of the new wave um yeah not easy to clean so from that aspect alone whoops sorry i got tangled on my cord from that aspect alone um, you should definitely consider technical difficulties, hit the button. Um, so I was saying from that aspect alone, you should definitely consider getting an air fryer separate from a toaster rather than getting a toaster oven to try to do it. Again, um, you, this cooks quicker and it also cooks more evenly. So, so far pretty impressed. 
Let's see. Oh my gosh, three minutes. Woo. Okay. All right. <clears throat> that is amazing. I'm gonna have to tell my friends. I mean, that's still still soft on the inside, but crispy again on the outside. So that's a, that's not much more time than it would take to cook it in the microwave. Uh, too hot to taste right now, but I can definitely tell from the texture of it that the texture is far far superior to the like spongy nasty texture that you get from the microwave um, and even better than the texture that I get when I microwave it and then cook it in a pan. All in all guys I am really pleased with this Iconikes air fryer. Uh, everything crisped up really nice and quickly. It was super easy to use. It seems well made. I like that it seems to be very easy to clean both the machine itself and the basket. Um, more And obviously the most important thing is that it cooks right and everything on this plate cooked exactly the way that I wanted to do. Pizza took three minutes, french fries and, and fish sticks took like 13 minutes. Probably could have gotten away with a minute or two less because um, they might be a little bit overdone, but really crispy uh, without any added fat. Big fan. I say if you're looking for an air fryer at a reasonable price, you're not going to go wrong picking this little thing up.